Hey guys, Nicole here with Momentum Accounting. In this video, I'm going to be explaining why having a digitized accounts payable process is essential for your business. So there are three reasons I'm going to go over in this video. The first is it will allow you as the CEO to remove yourself from the administrative part of having to pay bills while still having total control over the money that leaves your bank account. So what we do at Momentum is we help clients set up bill, it used to be called bill.com, it's now called bill, which is a online bill pay system that integrates with QuickBooks Online and Xero. And so what we do is when you sign up a new vendor, we provide them with a special unique in email inbox where all your bills get routed. We see the, the bill images, all digitized, all online in the cloud. We enter them, categorize them to the right expense account, and then assign you as the approver. So you can go in and batch and see all the bills before they leave the bank account. Um, but it's really just like a two minute process for you once a week or once every couple of weeks, rather than you having to uh, go through your inbox and deal with those. Second reason is a bill pay process is the foundation for accrual-based accounting. And accrual-based accounting is the foundation for being able to look at margins and being able to do PL forecasting. So um, if you want to get to a point where you can manage your business to your to certain KPIs or margins every month, it is essential that you be on accrual-based accounting. Now, as the accounting team, the reason that we need a good AP process is because let's say, for example, you get a $10,000 bill from a vendor. Maybe it's a software vendor and it's a prepaid software expense for 12 months. On a cash basis, when you pay that bill, like I guess you know, it's a $10,000 expense that hits whatever month that you spend that in. On a cruel basis, we, if we have an AP process, right, we're seeing that, that bill first, we're entering it into a prepaid expense and we're doing things on our end to make sure that it is uh, captured on a schedule and then we are amortizing that over 12 months. So you're hitting one twelfth of that expense every month rather than at uh, one time, which then creates a lumpy P&L, which then throws off your margins. So that's number two. And then the third reason is cash flow management. So you don't want to just pay a bill whenever um, whenever it comes in. Uh, the alternative, right, being you just let it sit in your inbox because you're not sure how much you can pay out this week. So what we want to do is, again, we want to route all of those bills to one inbox. We want to get them all entered into your system every week. And then every week we can say, okay, here are the 20 bills that you owe or 10 bills that you owe. Let's choose which vendors we need to pay first. And then we can do a little two week cash flow forecast and see, hey, we know we have payroll coming out this month. We know we're gonna pay, let's let's choose these five bills. What does that look like? No, we can't pay those five bills. Let's choose these three bills. So it just gives you a lot more control. So those are the three main reasons that you need an accounts payable process. I'm Nicole, I'm the founder of Momentum Accounting. We are a fractional accounting department for businesses, typically they do one to 10 million in revenue. If you wanna learn more about what we do, you can go to our website at momentumaccounting.com or you can follow me on LinkedIn, Nicole McKenzie. I'll see you at the next video.